let your authentic voice shine through and let it be sincere because your clients, they're out there and they're looking for services that you provide. And with these strategic holiday marketing efforts, you're making it way easier for them to find and connect with you during this critical time of the year. And I think what's important to stress here is that you're actually giving people a reason why they should connect with you. I'm Sylvie Garibaldi, founder and CEO of a well-established marketing training and done-for-you services company, tailored specifically for the modern legal and financial professional worldwide. While it's taken some trial and error to figure out which methods get the best results for professionals who are looking to grow their practices, fast forward to today, my team and I have nailed down and perfected a process that has helped so many of our clients consistently achieve outstanding results and create a legacy for their practices. I created the Serve First, Sell Later marketing podcast to give you simple, actionable, non-salesy and results-driven marketing to grow your legal or financial practice like so many of our clients have. If you're a lawyer, mediator, financial, or divorce professional who is looking to become highly visible and wants to create a practice that makes an impact, then you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode 52 of the Serve First, Sell Later Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Sylvie Garibaldi. And this is the second and final part of our series, Holiday Marketing Secrets Only Savvy Professionals Know. And so last week, I laid the groundwork for why December is such a crucial time for marketing your professional services. And I explored the unique opportunities that December presents for lawyers, divorce professionals, and mediators. And we talked about the importance of staying visible when others are winding down and and really how to leverage the holiday season to build stronger client relationships. So today, I'm talking all about that knowledge and turning that knowledge into action. And I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the how of holiday marketing. So I'm going to explore online marketing tactics that can make you stand out during this busy season and really just unpack the psychology behind December decision-making and look at how to budget effectively for your holiday marketing efforts. And by the end of this episode, you'll have a toolkit full of practical strategies to implement right away. But here's the thing. This isn't just about getting through December, because the strategies we'll discuss today are really designed to give you momentum that carries well into the new year. And we're talking about setting yourself up for a strong Q1 and beyond. So whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, whether you caught last week's episode or you're joining us for the first time, there is something in this episode for you. So I would recommend that you listen to episode 51 first, which is part one of the series, if you haven't already done so. And I'll put a link to episode 51 in the show notes. All right, let's dive in. So I want to talk about practical digital marketing tactics that you can use this holiday season. And so first up is SEO optimization for holiday-related searches. So what do I mean by this? People's search habits obviously change during the holidays, and you need to adapt to this. So let's take the example of divorce mediators. You're going to want to consider creating content around phrases like how to handle the holidays during divorce or co-parenting during Christmas. For workplace mediators, you might want to target managing holiday stress at work or resolving year-end conflicts. Family law attorneys, you could focus in on holiday custody arrangements, while estate planning attorneys might optimize for end-of-year estate planning tips. Also, you want to create blog posts or FAQ pages and really address these topics to improve your search rankings. So I want to switch gears for a second and talk about social media engagement. And usually we see usage spike up during the holidays as people connect with family and friends. And so you want to use this to your advantage. So for example, if you're scrolling through LinkedIn as you're getting closer to the holidays, you may see that a lot of your colleagues, business acquaintances, 
potential prospects and clients, posting all about the upcoming holidays and wishing everyone well during the holiday season. Those are opportunities for you to create more engagement with them during this time frame. So that's what I mean when I say usage usually spikes up during the holidays. As I said, you want to use this to your advantage. So if you want to learn more about social media strategies, then you should check out episodes 39 and 44 of this podcast. And I'll actually put some links in the show notes for you on that. So you also want to consider running a holiday-themed Q&A session, maybe on Facebook Live or LinkedIn or Instagram. And this not only boosts engagement, but it positions you as an approachable expert in your field. So email marketing. This, I think the key for email marketing is to really craft standout campaigns that don't get lost in the holiday inbox flood. So a really great one for all professionals to consider is something called a year in review email. And what this does is it highlights your achievements and thanking clients for their trust and just basically talking about the successes of how you've helped your clients and how you wish them all the best uh, in the new year. So this is a great touch that you can provide at the year end. Divorce mediators could send a new year, new start campaign offering sessions in January, as we know that's a busy time for divorce mediators and attorneys. Workplace mediators might offer an end-of-year conflict resolution package. Family law attorneys could provide a checklist for updating custody agreements in the new year, while estate planning lawyers could remind clients, once again, about year-end tax considerations. So remember, Your subject lines are really, really important. Make them personal and relevant to cut through the noise. And of course, if you're unsure on how to make it punchier or how to make it stand out, you can always turn to AI to help you craft some subject lines that are powerful and catches the attention of the reader. If you want to learn more about building an email list and how to use lead magnets, especially for 2025, to really start capturing more leads in your pipeline, then you definitely want to check out episodes 18 and 19 of the podcast. And I'll put a link for that in the show notes. So the next thing I want to talk about is video content. And we know that video is incredibly engaging and can really convey empathy and expertise in a way that other mediums really cannot. So you can consider creating short video series, maybe on surviving the holidays during divorce, Workplace mediators may want to think about quick tips for de-escalating office holiday party conflicts, right? That's really relative to the holiday season. And so just think about the different video tips that you can offer based on the work that you do as a professional and put it out there. It's a great touch to really get people thinking about you and how you can help them. And an important note here is that these videos don't need to be professionally produced In fact, it's the opposite that people want to see. They want to see authenticity. They want to see helpful content. And they want to see the real you. So typically, unpolished videos do much better than polished videos. And remember that the goal of all of these tactics is to provide value to your audience first while keeping your services top of mind during the holiday season. And I think by addressing these specific holiday-related concerns, what you're doing is you're positioning yourself as a thoughtful, proactive professional that they can turn to when they need help. So take some time this week to, to think about which one of these strategies you want to implement. Maybe it's optimizing your website for holiday searches, or maybe it's planning out a social media content calendar, drafting an email campaign, or recording a quick tip video. Whatever you choose, just remember the key is to start now and stay consistent throughout the holiday season. So I want to talk about the psychology of December and how you can use it to your advantage in your marketing efforts. And I want to look at three aspects here. The fresh start mentality, which I'm sure all of us can relate to, the end of year urgency, and the third one being balancing sensitivity with proactive marketing. So let me talk about this in more detail. So the fresh start mentality. This is when the year winds down, people naturally start thinking about new beginnings, New Year's resolutions. It's a powerful psychological trigger that all of us can relate to. And so for divorce mediators, you might frame your service as a way to start the new year on a positive note. 
And you may want to consider a campaign such as New Year, New Chapter, How to Handle Your Divorce Differently in 2025. And what this does is it appeals to those who've been putting off difficult decisions, and they now know that they're ready for change. Workplace mediators, you can leverage this mindset as well by offering New Year Workplace Harmony packages. Have you ever given any thought to that? New Year Workplace Harmony Packages. And this is all about emphasizing how resolving conflicts now can lead to a more productive and positive environment in the coming year. So think about that. If you're the CEO, if you're an HR manager, these are things and goals that you would be striving for as a professional and would most likely seek out the help of a workplace mediator. If you're a family law attorney or an estate planning attorney, just think about the fresh starts that people want to think about when it comes to co-parenting. They want to start the, the year better. They want to think about how they can communicate better with their co-parent. Estate planning attorneys, it's all about how to start 2025 with peace of mind and getting your estate plan in order. So I think that's really important to think like your clients would in, in these different scenarios and thinking about the psychology behind the new year. And there's also the end of year urgency. So December often creates a sense that time is running out, right? Which can motivate people to take action. And so for divorce mediators, you could tap into this by reminding couples that resolving issues before the new year can actually provide clarity and peace of mind for the holidays. Workplace mediators, you could focus in on helping companies clear the air before the new year. Family law attorneys and estate planning attorneys, same sort of thing. Like, how can you help them prepare for the new year? And the best way to do that is now, right? When they're thinking about the end of year urgency. And lastly, I want to talk about balancing sensitivity with proactive marketing. What do I mean by this? Well, the holidays can be an emotional time, especially for those dealing with family issues and loss. And your marketing really needs to acknowledge this while still being proactive. So for divorce attorneys, this might mean offering resources on coping with the holidays during separation alongside your services and how your services can help them. Same thing with workplace mediators. The stress of year-end deadlines and holiday preparations are really a pain point for them. So how can you help them strike that balance? So think about that and remember that the key is to show that you understand the unique challenges of the season while offering your services as a solution. So by aligning your marketing with the psychology of December, the desire for a fresh start, the sense of urgency and the need for sensitivity, you can really create campaigns that resonate around these three areas of concern. And it can really set you up for success if you think that way and prepare your marketing around those three areas. All right, so let's dive into how to budget for success in your holiday marketing efforts. And I wanna cover three areas here. One is investing in December for Q1 momentum. The second is utilizing remaining year-end budgets. And the third is considering return on investment for your holiday marketing spend. So for December Q1 momentum, I want you to think of December marketing as planting seeds for the new year. And the connections that you make and the awareness that you build can now pay off big time in the first quarter. So for instance, a divorce mediator might run a social media or email campaign in December about new year, new beginnings. And what this does is it plants the seed for those considering divorce who might then reach out in January or February, or for that matter, they could even reach out in December because now they're already thinking about it. Similarly, an estate planning attorney, you could focus on start the new year with peace of mind, which really helps set the stage for new clients in Q1, right? Because they're starting to think about that and they're going to reach out because now you've planted the seed on the importance of starting the new year with peace of mind. So looking at remaining year-end marketing budgets. 
So if you're like many professionals, you might have some marketing dollars left in your 2024 budget. So don't let it go to waste. Instead of letting it disappear, invest it in marketing efforts that can actually carry you into the new year. And this could mean creating content that you could use well into the new year, like a series of educational videos or a comprehensive guide related to your services. Perhaps you want to actually make it into a lead magnet. So think about how you can do that. Lastly, you should consider return on investment for your holiday marketing spend. And it's really important to track the results of your marketing efforts to really understand what's working and what's not. So set clear goals for your holiday marketing and and maybe it's a certain number of new client inquiries or maybe it's a percentage increase in website traffic or a target for social media engagement. Whatever your goals, make sure that they're specific and measurable. And also consider the lifetime value of a client and not just the immediate return. So it's also important to consider the lifetime value of a client and not just the immediate return. And I think a lot of professionals will focus on the immediate return and not really look at how to develop the lifetime value of a client, which can be so much more profitable. All right, so let's take the example of a workplace mediator. For instance, you might not see immediate results from a December campaign, but it could lead to a long-term contract with a company in the new year. And here's another practical tip. Using landing pages for your holiday campaigns, this makes it easier for you to track which efforts are driving which results, right? That's part of making it measurable and tracking. So I want you to remember that marketing is an investment. And by budgeting wisely and tracking your results, you can turn your holiday marketing efforts into a powerful engine for growth in the new year. So, so take a look at your budget and ask yourself, can you invest some of the remaining budget in creating content or some other marketing activity for Q1? And most importantly, how will you measure success? All right, so let's turn all this information into actionable steps. And I'm going to provide you with some quick tips and a comprehensive guide to really help you create your holiday marketing plan. So let's start with some actionable tips for implementing in December or actually now in in the month of November so that you can get these ready to go. So obviously you want to start immediately because the holiday season is upon us. And so time is a wasting and there is no time to delay or to, you know, think about how to make it perfect before you actually get it out there, right? So so think about taking small actions now and realize that these small actions can have a significant impact over time. And I want you to focus on your strengths. If you're really great at writing, prioritize social media posts, blog posts, or emails. Maybe video is your thing. So focus on creating short, informative clips for social media. The key thing here is be consistent and be frequent. Aim to touch base with your audience at least two to three times a week throughout the month of December. And I want you to think about how can I humanize my brand, right? So share a photo of your office holiday decorations or a lunch out with colleagues or a story about a holiday tradition. When you include images on social media of real life, like you sitting down at your desk or enjoying the view from your office, this helps clients see you as relatable and approachable. So as you start engaging in that process, I want you to think about humanizing your brand. Let's take a quick break. Are you ready to attract high net worth clients and grow your professional practice? If you're a mediator, lawyer, financial, or divorce expert, don't miss our free interactive workshop on how to attract affluent clients to grow your professional practice. And it's happening on December the 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is the last time that I will be offering this free workshop. In just one session, you'll learn powerful strategies to elevate your personal brand, master social media, and build a referral network with other professionals who serve affluent clients. Plus, we'll help you up-level your mindset to confidently market your unique expertise. Space is limited, so sign up now. Link for registration can be found in the show notes.
and looking at some of the personalized images that you can use. And I think it's important to provide value first. So if you're offering a free guide like navigating holiday co-parenting for family lawyers, or maybe end of year tax considerations for estate planners, make sure that it's comprehensive. Make sure that there's really good information in there that people can take away and be wowed by. Okay. And I think like creating a detailed holiday marketing plan is going to be important. And if you're like most professionals and you're time pressed, here are some quick ways to do this. So step one is set goals. Instead of just more clients, aim for something specific like book five new mediation sessions for January or increase website traffic by 25% compared to last December. So that's step one. So step two is define your target audience. So for divorce mediators, this might be couples considering separation after the holidays. For work for workplace mediators, it could be HR managers looking to start the new year positively. So think about defining that ideal target market. Step three, select your primary marketing channels. If your clients are professionals, LinkedIn might be key. For family-related services, Facebook and Instagram might be effective for you to find your ideal target market. Step four, plan your content calendar. So here's, here's a quick, simple sample that you can use. So Monday maybe is posting a blog on your website. Wednesday could be helpful tips on your social media platforms. Friday could be an email newsletter with a seasonal message and valuable content, right? Very simple. Three posts a week. Easy, simple, getting it out there. Step five, you want to allocate your budget. Decide on how much you're going to spend. Are you going to spend? Do you want to spend some budget on ads? Do you want to spend some budget on content creation? Or maybe it's a holiday client appreciation event. Determine if you are going to spend and if you will require a budget. Step six, create a detailed calendar. So you could use a tool like Google Calendar to map out every post, every email, and ad for the month if, if you're doing ads. So put it all in, in a calendar that your entire team could have access to and can adjust and edit as necessary. Step seven, develop a follow-up strategy. I can't stress this one enough. Plan how you'll respond to inquiries within 24 hours, even during holiday periods. And I think that's really important. If you're going to put marketing material out there and you don't have a plan in place for follow-up, you're wasting your time because people need reminders and they need to be coached into what actions they need to take. So I think this is a really fundamental point that I'm making here that a lot of professionals miss. So here's an action plan for the week. So today, maybe you set a holiday marketing goal that you want to set with your ideal target market. Tomorrow, you can choose your primary marketing channels and, and start drafting your content calendar. The next day, maybe set your budget and begin creating your first piece of holiday content. And then you can set up and update tr any tracking tools that you may be using, like Google Analytics or email software. And then you're going to reach out to a colleague in a complimentary field to discuss cross-promotional opportunities and see if they can actually start promoting this information to their audience. And there is a quick action plan for you for the week, right? Very simple. Simple to get it out there. In a matter of days, you can have this up and running. And I think it's important to remember, as you've heard me stress over and over again, consistency is key. Even small, regular efforts can really create significant results. And the work that you put in now isn't just for December. And I want to make that very clear. The work that you're putting in now can benefit the month of December, but it's also laying the groundwork for a very strong start to the new year. And lastly, don't forget to inject some holiday spirit into your efforts, right? It's not all about business. It's also about spreading that heartfelt message about the importance of family, maybe for divorce mediators or end-of-year reflections for workplace consultants. Let your authentic voice shine through and let it be sincere because your clients, they're out there and they're looking for services 
that you provide. And with these strategic holiday marketing efforts, you're making it way easier for them to find and connect with you during this critical time of the year. And I think what's important to stress here is that you're actually giving people a reason why they should connect with you. I hope that resonates with you. So take action, stay focused, and really make this holiday season a landmark one for your professional services. So I want to leave you with a really clear call to action to take advantage of these holiday opportunities. So if you listen to episode 51, which is part one of this series, I challenge the notion that December is a slow month for marketing. And we talked about three big reasons why keeping your marketing active is essential. And I think the first one is the year-end rush. So remember that December is when people are tying up loose ends, whether it's legal matters, mediation, or divorce planning. And this really creates a unique window for professionals just like you to step in and meet those needs. And while many of your competitors are winding down, you can actually stand out simply by staying visible. And I want you to think of it as being the only open shop on a quiet street. You're the one people will notice. And then I talked about building relationships. So the holiday season is really a natural time to connect with your audience on a deeper level. And so I think thoughtful touches like holiday greetings or helpful tips can really make a lasting impression and build trust for the future. So in this episode, 52, part two, we took all of that knowledge and we focused on execution and really turning those ideas into action steps. And so it's going to be important to look at optimizing your website for holiday-related searches, to creating engaging social media content, and we also talked about ways to make your digital presence really shine. And it's also important to think about crafting standout email campaigns and using video to connect on a more personal level. I also unpacked the fresh start mentality and the end of year urgency that really drives decision making. So when you align your marketing with these psychological triggers, which are super important, what you're doing is you're actually going to resonate with your audience and really help inspire action. And the importance of using remaining year-end marketing budgets strategically and really planning for the Q1 momentum is super important. And remember, the effort you put in now is only going to set you up for success in the new year. And I think you need to look at it that way as you're starting to approach the month of December and starting to put your work into December so that you can see the fruits of your labor in January. Now, here's the thing. None of this is difficult to do, right? It just requires a bit of focus and consistency. And so the holiday season gives you an opportunity to connect with your audience in a way that's both timely and meaningful. And while others are slowing down, you have the chance to stay ahead. So here's my challenge to you. Today, I want you to set your goals. What do you want to achieve by the end of December? Is it to book more consultations? Is it to drive website traffic? Is it to strengthen relationships with referral partners? You decide. Tomorrow, I want you to take one small action, whether it's writing a holiday-themed blog post, maybe it's scheduling a social media update, or maybe it's reaching out to a referral partner. Please just start. And this week, I want you to commit to just showing up, hosting regularly, sharing valuable insights, And please be present, super, super important to be present because your efforts now, today, will pay off in the long run. And remember that the work that you put in this holiday season isn't just about capturing immediate business. It's about building momentum for the future. And think of how amazing it will feel to start the new year with new clients, stronger relationships, and a really good, solid plan already in motion. Not ready to start, but a solid plan that's already in motion. So thank you for joining me in this series, Holiday Marketing Secrets for Savvy Professionals. I do hope you found these insights valuable and more importantly, that you feel motivated to take action. December is so full of opportunities and with just a little effort, you can make it one of the most impactful months for your practice.
If you haven't already, make sure to, to subscribe to this podcast so that you don't miss any future episodes filled with actionable strategies to grow your professional practice. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. How are you implementing these tips? Share your stories with me on social media or send me a message directly. I love connecting with you. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode.